Hello everyone, got a few dirty jokes for you today. So I was in the elevator when a busty lady got in. I was staring at her boobs when she said, would you please press one? So I did. I don't remember much afterwards. <laughs> so four guys had been going on their annual fishing trip for years. This year, one of the guys received a copy of Fifty Shades of Grey from his wife. She said, read this. I'm in the mood for some kinky fun instead of your fishing trip. So he read the book and decided to give it a try. When he got home, he looked at his wife and said, now I'm going to tear all your clothes off. And he did. Now I'm going to tie you up. He declared, yes. She cried. So, he tied her up. Now, I'm going to chain you to the bed, he said. Yes, yes, she exclaimed, eager for more. And what are you going to do now? He grinned and said, and now I'm going fishing. <laughs> so a Sunday school teacher was sharing the story of the Good Samaritan with her class. She described how a man was beaten, robbed, and left lying on the side of the road. The teacher then asked the class, Now, if you saw someone lying on the roadside, wounded and bleeding, what would you do? The room fell silent as the children thought about the question. Finally, a thoughtful little girl raised her hand and said, I think I would throw up. <laughs> So a nine-year-old Joey came home from Sunday school and his mom asked, what did you learn today? Well, mom, Joey began, our teacher told us how God sent Moses on a rescue mission behind enemy lines to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. When they got to the Red Sea, Moses had his army build a pontoon bridge so everyone could walk across safely. Then he radioed headquarters for reinforcements and they sent bombers to blow up the bridge, saving all the Israelites. His mom raised an eyebrow and asked, Joey, is that really what your teacher taught you? Joey sighed and replied, Well, no, mom, but if I told it the way the teacher did, you'd never believe it. <laughs> so Henry and Martha are celebrating 50 years of marriage. He takes her hand, thanks her for their years together, but asks if she's ever been unfaithful. She pauses and answers, yes, three times, but always for a good reason. What could those reasons be? He asked with pain in his voice. She replied, well, the first time remember when we couldn't pay the mortgage and we were going to lose our first house. I went to the banker and the next day we got a loan extension. Yes, he said, I remember, and that's a good reason. I forgive you. And the second? She answered, remember when your heart gave out and we had no money but the doctor performed the surgery for free? Yes, he said, I remember, and that's a good reason. I forgive you. And the third? Well, she nodded. Remember when you ran for president of your golf club and you needed 73 more votes? <laughs> so in Sunday school, the teacher was wrapping up a lesson about the powerful kings and queens in Bible times. She looked at the children and said, we've learned about how powerful kings and queens were, but there is an even higher power. Can anyone tell me what it is? Little Johnny excitedly blurted out, an ace. <laughs> so Siamese twins walk into a bar in Toronto and take a seat on a stool. One of them says to the bartender, don't mind us, we're joined at the hip. I'm John and this is Jim. Two Molson drafts, please. The bartender, feeling a bit awkward, tries to make conversation while pouring the beers. You guys been on holiday yet? Yep, heading to England next month, says John. We go every year, rent a car, and drive for miles. Right, Jim, 
Jim nods in agreement. Ah, England, says the bartender. Beautiful country, the history, the beer, the culture. Nah, we're not into that British stuff, John replies. Hamburgers and Molson's, that's us, eh, Jim? And we can't stand the English. They're so arrogant and rude. So, why keep going to England? Asks the bartender. John grins and says, it's the only time Jim gets to drive. <laughs> so one Sunday morning, after the church service, the pastor was chatting with the children and asked a little boy, do you say your prayers every night before bed? Yes, sir, the boy replied earnestly. The pastor, wanting to understand more about the boy's routine, asked, and do you always say your prayers in the morning too? The boy shook his head and said, no, sir, I don't need to. I'm not scared during the daytime. <laughs> So an Arkansas man won a bass boat in a raffle. He brought it home, and his wife took one look and said, What you gonna do with that? Ain't no water deep enough to float a boat within 100 miles of here. He replied, I won it, and I'm gonna keep it. A few days later, his brother came by and asked the wife, Where's my brother? She pointed out back and said, He's out there in his bass boat. The brother walked out to the field and found his brother sitting in the boat with a fishing rod, smack in the middle of the dry field. He hollered, what are you doing? His brother shot back, I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? The brother yelled, it's people like you that make folks think we're stupid. If I could swim, I'd come out there and beat your ass. <laughs> So during a Sunday school lesson about Noah's Ark, the teacher was asking the kids questions to see how much they remembered. She turned to Johnny and asked, Johnny, do you think Noah did a lot of fishing while he was on the Ark? Johnny thought for a moment, then shook his head. I don't think so, said Johnny. He only had two worms. <laughs> so every night, when my daughter Kelly said her bedtime prayers, she would include a long list of blessings for every family member, every friend, and every pet, both current and past. For weeks, after we finished the main part of the prayer, Kelly would always add, and all girls. This addition became such a regular part of her routine that my curiosity got the best of me. One evening, I asked her, Kelly, why do you always add the part about all girls? She looked up at me with a thoughtful expression and replied, because everyone always finishes their prayers by saying all men. <laughs> so a man doing market research for the Vaseline company knocked on a door and was greeted by a young woman with three small children running around at her feet. I'm conducting a survey for Vaseline. Have you ever used our product? He asked. Yes, she replied. My husband and I use it all the time. If you don't mind me asking, the researcher said, what do you use it for? We use it for sex, she answered. The researcher was taken aback. Most people usually say they use it on squeaky hinges or a bike chain, but I know many use it for that. I appreciate your honesty. Since you've been so open, can you tell me exactly how you use it? Of course, the woman said. We put it on the doorknob to keep the kids out. <laughs> so during the minister's prayer one Sunday, as the congregation sat quietly in their seats, a loud whistle rang out from one of the back pews. The entire church turned to look, and Tommy's mother was mortified. She quickly pinched him to silence and, after the service, asked him in a stern voice, Tommy, whatever made you do such a thing? Tommy looked up at her with wide eyes and answered solemnly, I asked God to teach me to whistle, and he did. <laughs> 
So the Sunday school teacher was telling the class how Lot's wife looked back and turned into a pillar of salt. Suddenly, little Jason interrupted. My mommy looked back once while she was driving. He said proudly, and she turned into a pole. <laughs> so little, Johnny and his family were enjoying a Sunday dinner at his grandmother's house. As everyone settled around the table and the delicious food was being served, little Johnny eagerly grabbed his plate and began to dig in. His mother, noticing his impatience, gently said, Johnny, please wait until we say our prayer before you start eating. Johnny looked up with a puzzled expression and replied, I don't need to. Of course you do, his mother insisted. We always say a prayer before eating at our house. Johnny shook his head and explained, That's at our house. But this is Grandma's house, and she knows how to cook. <laughs> so the preacher's five-year-old daughter noticed that her father always paused and bowed his head for a moment before starting his sermon. Curious, she asked him one day, Daddy, why do you do that? Well, honey, he said, feeling proud that his daughter was so observant. I'm asking the Lord to help me preach a good sermon. She thought for a moment and then asked, then how come he doesn't answer? <laughs> so, an American and an Australian walk into a pastry shop and the American with lightning speed slips three cookies into his pocket without the baker noticing. Turning to the Australian, the American boasts, see how clever we Americans are. You'll never top that. The Australian grins and says, oh, really? Watch this. An Australian is always cleverer than an American. He turns to the baker and says, can I have a cookie? I want to show you a magic trick. The baker hands him a cookie, which the Australian promptly eats. He then says, give me another cookie for my magic trick. The baker, now a bit suspicious, but still compliant, gives him another cookie. The Australian eats this one too. The Australian continues, give me one more cookie for my magic trick. The baker, now quite frustrated, but not wanting to lose a customer, gives him a third cookie, which the Australian eats as well. At this point, the baker, furious, demands, where's your famous magic trick? The Australian smirks and says, look in the American's pocket. <laughs> So a woman buys a new SIM card, inserts it into her phone, and decides to surprise her husband, who is sitting on the couch in the living room. She heads to the kitchen, calls her husband from the new number, and says, Hello, darling. Her husband, speaking in a low tone, replies, Let me call you back later, honey. The stupid woman is in the kitchen. <laughs> So an airline introduced a special promotion for businessmen. Buy a ticket and get your wife's ticket free. After the promotion was a huge success, the airline sent letters to all the wives asking how they enjoyed the trip. Every single wife replied with the same answer. What trip? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs>